Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and it comes in 130 second scale, it copies Thurman PT13 or N2S2 and also 5 Kaidet and it's American training aircraft biplane. We reviewed the first release some time before, now we have a new versions and they are still in the same scale obviously and this is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review, nothing will change and we are going to open it together and check what is actually included here inside. So first of all packaging is typical for this manufacturer, we have nice box art of this aircraft on the front, here you can see comparison with my hand and then on the side we have some information about this kit. So there are 95 parts which is really a small amount for the uh, 130 second scale kit and wingspan will be 308 millimeters which is also not that big for 130 second scale aircraft. So as usual for recent releases from ICM uh, we have uh, everything sealed with a sticky tape so I'm going to cut through with a sharp knife and then we'll check everything closer and while I'm cutting all this stuff through let me remind you that you can support us with a small donation I mean even the small do donations make the difference because we are able to get some new photo and video equipment or we may be able to buy a new kit as you saw some recent Tamiya releases they were purchased with your help and I really appreciate it because otherwise I won't be able to get such kits so you really help me on that and you can basically do this with a donate button on our website it's done via PayPal so it's quick and safe and of course you decide how much we will get and as I said everything is important for us and we are really grateful for your donations. So here we have a standard ICM box structure and it means this thin top lid as you can see it's quite flexible it doesn't provide any protection what actually protects all the parts is this white cardboard box which is with a top flap and here is what we have inside so all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and we are going to check them one by one and see what is actually included here. So just give me a second, I will uh, get this plastic bag outside. It is a receivable plastic bag. Here you can take a look. And port count, as I said, is really surprising for such big kit because we are all used to see... Just a moment. We are all used to see a big kit with a big parts number and here suddenly we get a really small parts count for 130 second scale kit. Obviously it will be a good thing for beginners because they will be able to assemble without let's say wasting their time with the small parts maybe for some older models as well and here we are going to start with a clear plastic sprue as you can see it was packed into the separate plastic bag in order to avoid any uh, possible damage and scratches we have here two canopies and also some other transparent parts everything looks cool I hope that mask templates are included into this kit so it will be easier to mask these parts and you won't have to get an aftermarket set, I mean, to spend your money. And here we start with a grey plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to fuselage halves. Let's zoom out a bit. So one of them is molded together with a tail fin, it will serve as a guiding element too. And as you can see we have these struts for the landing gear, one is promoted with this pitot tube and here if you flip it over you can notice exactly what I was saying, so this tail fin it serves as a guiding element. We have also some interior details here which is really cool because it will be visible on the finished model and I think we can zoom in so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So here is the interior details. And we also have some guiding elements obviously and here you can see external features which are also quite nice looking for one thirty second scale kit it's really nice level of details. Next we go on with a bigger plastic sprue and here I think we will have to zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see that here we have these wing parts, we also have one piece pilot seats, we have propeller 
and of course only one type will be used here we have thin frames for the cockpit also some parts for the cockpit floor and now we can zoom in back now you can check these cockpit frames which are really thin so I would rather use a plastic saw in order to carefully separate it here you can see also instrument dashboard or instrument panel sorry and here is another cockpit wall if we flip it over inside in the wing parts you can notice that we have some guiding elements which will be also handy for such large elements and next we go on with separate plastic sprue for engine parts here they are let's zoom out a bit now you can see that this engine is really detailed for 130 second scale model it will be visible on the finished model because it's not covered by cooling on this aircraft so be sure to spend some time painting and weathering all this stuff it will be a really I would say good investment of your time and your model will only benefit from such I would say addition in details but what's really interesting is that whole cylinder block is assembled out of two halves so you have to glue them together and the last grey plastic sprue is dedicated to the large wing halves for the top wing so let's zoom out here it is and you can notice that basically you have to combine these two parts together but we also have the separate top section of the fuselage so basically you won't have any seams in this area you won't have to sand it and it's always tricky with such thin areas but here you get it as a one piece part so it's just basically inserted on the fuselage here we also have aileron separate rudder landing gear wheels and for landing gear wheels they look okay but for 130 second scale if you will be able to get a aftermarket resin replacement obviously it will be way better than these what we get in the original plastic next we have also small brochure about spruce replacement in case something will arrive broken to you you can just contact ICM they have really nice customer service as far as I remember so they will help you next we have the cow's sheet so here it is it is surprisingly small for 130 second scale so you can notice that we have here some main symbols we also have dials for the instrument panel and that's pretty much all there are no seat belts decals even though we have large empty space where they could have placed these seat belts I wonder why they keep ignoring such upgrade really small but yet noticeable on the finished models and next we have assembly manual this one is printed in form of typical ICM brochure let's zoom out close the camera so it is printed in color, we have short history note and technical specifications on the first page. Next we go on with the parts map and maybe I'll close the camera even more so that you can see more features. And all parts will be used, so be sure not to lose any of them. And assembly process starts with the cockpit, so you will be working with these thin parts. And as I said, better use a plastic saw, not the plastic cutter, because it's easy to damage parts with the plastic cutter and then it will be really difficult to fix them. Next we continue with the uh, pilot seats installation into this cage, then we detail a bit this fuselage house and note the detail, uh, this detailing process ends up with the uh, joining fuselage house together and only then you get to insert this cockpit sub assembly into the fuselage, it slides into it and then you close it together with the top fuselage panel which is really in interesting assembly sequence because not often you see such, I would say, order assembly order out of the box next we continue with some cooling panels they will be separate as you can see and they basically repeat the panel lines which is also quite cool feature because you won't have to worry about possible seams here we continue with landing gear legs and next we have tail surfaces so each tail wing should be assembled out of two halves the same can be said about elevators next we go on with rudder wings so here you install the lower wing, as you can see it has the separate ailerons, you install also this canopy parts or windscreens. Here we continue with the top wing assembly, why well, I'm a bit confused because I was expecting to see a rigging here but I guess it will be in the end because here we start to assemble the engine. So as I said engine will be visible on the finished model so be sure to 
paint and weather it properly. Here we continue with the choice between two propeller types. It will depend on the marking option you choose for your build. We have mask template included which is really cool because you will be able to cut them by your own and just cover all clear parts. Here you can see rigging template so be ready to do all this stuff. It will be quite a process to do. Here we have bright marking options so that's the first and the second marking option from 1941 both and here we have another one from 1944 in this silver color if I'm not wrong which is also a good looking aircraft. So as for the kit as whole it should be already available in Modelimax webshop so if you would like to get one just go there and order it. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!